False. These are reactionary effects which are actually desired because it implies that your body is doing the function of producing these antibodies which we want. These side effects could range anywhere from headaches, chills, weakness, fever, diarrhea, etc. And also remember that these side effects are seen in a very small section of people who are taking the vaccine, not in the majority of them. If you feel that you're having adverse effects towards it, which are very higher in severity, please talk to the doctor immediately and the medications might help you. But this should not be the reason to not take a vaccine. Well, understand this. The virus is here to stay. It's in the air and it's smart. How long do you plan to stay in your house? Are you never going to send your children to school? Are you never going to send your partners to their workplaces? Are you never going to work? So realize the reality of the situation. There is no person in this life today in the world who will not be infected by this virus apparently. So better to be prepared and get vaccinated. Remember, even if you've had COVID infection, you need to take the vaccination. Because, one, you don't know how long your immunity is going to last. It might wear off very early or it might wear off late. Second, the virus is mutating and there are different kinds of virus. It is not necessary that the second time you get infected will be with the same virus. It might be with a more dangerous and a more potent virus. It's better to get the immunity through vaccination. Today, we have enough evidence and data to prove that vaccine does not lead to infertility, period. So don't stop yourself or your partner from getting vaccinated just because you think your fertility might be affected. Remember, there is absolutely no correlation between the timing of your vaccination and the timing of your menstrual cycle. Have you ever heard a doctor deny you a tetanus shot or any other vaccine per se just because you were in your periods? Also, remember that the whole idea of your immunity being less during your menstrual cycle is absurd. First, it's false. Second, even if you believe in it, vaccines are actually being given to immunocompromised patients. That means patients of HIV, even patients of pregnancy are being given vaccines now. So why should a menstruating girl not take the vaccine? It is important to note, patients with medical disorder, which means people with heart disease, asthma, cancer, on chemotherapy, kidney disease, patients with HIV, these are all high-risk group to develop severe form of COVID infection. You, in fact, should be the first in the line to take COVID vaccine on priority basis. If you're suffering from a disease that confuses you, please talk to your doctor and clear your doubts before you take the vaccine.